Ah, the pastoral English countryside. Driving as we are on the left of the road, of course. Now, I want you to picture this same scene in England, only it's like sometime in the 1950s. It was said that if you had a happy frame of mind and the weather was reasonably kind, England was a beautiful place to go driving. Just one thing to remember. Get a good car. That's the secret of it. There you are, a good motor car and basic. Oh, you had your Austins, Land Rovers, and Jaguars, but the Morris Minor was the popular choice. A little fuddy-duddy, maybe, but charmingly simple, and really all the vehicle a sensible person needed. In England, the Morris Minor was the, the main transportation way back in the late 50s, 60s. Now bear with me here, because I know England is a long way from San Diego, and so does Dennis Tolley. Switches. Mirrors. Because 60 years ago, he made the trip and showed up here with a growing family and a ton of mechanical knowledge about the Morris Minor and a lot of other British cars from so far away. And one place was asking for a, looking for a good mechanic. So I went there on Monday morning and after a slight conference with him, they say, when can you start? Soon enough, he owned something that could never be on such prime real estate today. His own repair shop was right at 7th and G. But in the simpler days of the 1960s, a big part of San Diego's downtown was car dealerships and garages. Yeah, there was uh, at least six or eight repair places like mine, right in the downtown area. Eventually moved the shop to Lemon Grove, more than 40 years there, where he became a bit of a local celebrity because he drove a little Morris Minor truck. See it there? Top speed, maybe 30 miles an hour. <laughs> That's great. Okay, fast forward to when we caught up with him. Doesn't have the shop anymore, but do you know what he's hung on to? Parts, car parts. The Morris Minor parts. All these are pistons for the engines. And now, going on 92 years old, he is sometimes the only source for them. People call me and do you have this part, do you have that part? Because they're no longer available in some cases. Not much need for some of them, been years and years, but he's got them just in case. Like this part here is the, the, the front gear, out of the gear transmission, and you can't get one of these, you know. Points, condensers, ignition parts, service manuals. I have a cylinder heads, I have cylinder blocks, and I have camshafts and crankshafts, and all those parts, if somebody needs them, I've got them. Yes, and when he has a moment, that is a transmission he's rebuilding on his workbench. But there's something else about Dennis Tolley. You see, this man, born during the reign of George V, who majored in the Morris Minor and has his MD in the MG, still does... <laughs> make house calls. In his 10th decade, he was still going out on home visits in the same little British truck from his San Diego repair shop days. Well, with a new faster freeway engine. In its simplicity, his Morris Minor pickup is trustworthy, well-founded, and reliable as an old friend who makes house calls. Those parts back in Dennis's garage who knows if one or two might come in handy today? The patient you see is a little MG belonging to Jim McIndoo. I'll hold it while you catch it. That, uh, that truck is well known. My, my neighbor, he, they all like coming over here watching what Dennis is doing. What miracle he performs next. And this hose was a little loose the last time we checked it and we want to tighten it up. And I have friends that are car people and they're legendary with Dennis because they call him all the time for advice. It's looking real good. It's nice and tight. It's not, le not leaking in any way. It's not leaking in any way, so we're uh, back to normal now. And so it goes. In his 90s, Dennis Tolley, from a simpler time, I guess, when you didn't have to be a computer-savvy diagnostician. No, if you knew what you were doing with just a few tools, you could fix a car. I, I, he's a treasure. That's looking good. But it's that know-what-you're-doing thing. Who will take his place? Where is the Dennis Tolley to work on an MG or a Morris Minor, say, 20 years from now? I have no idea. I don't know. When he's gone, that's it. He's very likely the last of a kind. And what about that? This story, his reputation for sure, will outlive him. What would be his epitaph? 
Like everything else, he keeps it simple. Well, here lies an old mechanic. Long, <laughs> long gone. <laughs> Dennis Tolley, who spent most of a lifetime keeping those little British cars running and not a minor point, made a lot of friends around and about San Diego.